Um, hey everyone, welcome to this clothing optional edition of Five on Fry with me, AJ Fry, and I've got five topics to talk about with you in around five minutes time, and the first one is, of course, Kim Kardashian. Except, I decide what I talk about on Five on Fry, and I've decided to never talk about Kim Kardashian. So, yay! Oh gosh. As you probably heard, this past Tuesday was International Women's Day, which makes for another great opportunity to thank all the wonderful women in your life and let them know how much they matter to you. So on that note, thank you, Mom, Zara, Kathy, Tish, Lisa, Brittany, and Nicolette, plus Amy, Morgan, Amy, Michelle, April, Claire, Shannon, Erica, Brenda, Karen, Leah, and Nancy, and also my friends, Susan, Steph, Courtney, Emily, Laura, Nora, Other Laura, Alex, Molly, Kim, Leslie, Aaron, Lauren, Anna, Kaylee, Sophia, Dinesh, and Sloan. Thank you all for your support and love all these past years. And I expect you all to make a YouTube video thanking me for my support on International Men's Day on November 19th. Just put it in your calendar so you don't forget. And I almost forgot to thank my Aunt Julia, who always shares my Five on Fry episodes on Facebook. Don't think I didn't notice, Aunt Julia. Thank you. On Wednesday, the hashtag the triggering began trending as many people posted offensive things to Twitter and other social media platforms in order to defend freedom of speech. Now, the idea for the hashtag and the campaign was actually put forward by my fellow outspoken blonde blue-eyed Canadian Lauren Southern, who, side note, recently had a bottle of what she claims to have been piss poured on her head while she was out on the street arguing with protesters. And while I would say that was shitty of the person who did it to her, perhaps saying it was pissy of them would be more accurate. All jokes aside though, no one deserves to get pissed on and resorting to physical confrontation never helps your side in an argument. And while I do deeply appreciate anyone who's willing to step forward to defend freedom of speech, especially without violence, in this case, I'm not really sure that our freedom of speech is being infringed upon, especially not in Canada and especially not online. Have you ever read through the comment section on a YouTube video with more than 10,000 views? We do have laws, in Canada at least, against hate speech, and I believe they're in place for good reason. Humans are flawed and we're often easily misled. That's why propaganda actually works. It's easier than you might think to use divisive language in order to create a mob mentality and direct hatred and blame towards an individual or group of individuals. Because isn't it easier to think, oh, my problems are their fault, rather than our problems are our fault. And as the world continues to get smaller, as our population continues to grow, I think it's important to look out for the movements that are truly about uniting us, not dividing us. And if you spend any time looking at tweets with the hashtag the triggering, it becomes quickly obvious that this isn't about defending free speech, but it is about fanning the flames of an online battle that's been brewing between those at the most extreme ends of differing ideologies. So I'm gonna use my freedom of speech to suggest that we all get behind a different hashtag, and that is the Tiggering. Because, after all, the wonderful thing about Tigger that the Tiggers are wonderful things. If you're not caught up on Game of Thrones, spoilers! The uh, trailer for season six hit the web earlier this week and it has me super excited. Obviously we got the mountain in there as his returned zombie warrior. Uh, Arya continues to be a badass. I hope she gets her own spin-off show uh, when the series is over. And let me hit you with my theory for Jon Snow. I think he will return as a free-willed White Walker. Uh, because he has Targaryen blood, if you know about the whole hidden conspiracy theory regarding his true parentage, uh, I think that he will come back to life with his own uh, sense of self, and he will lead the uprising against the White Walkers when he manages to team up with Danny, and they use their dragons to create more obsidian to take down the White Walkers. That's my theory, I'm sticking to it. We'll see if I'm right uh, when season six returns to HBO. I believe the premiere day is April 24th, and I cannot wait. Another big trailer dropped yesterday, and that was the trailer for Captain America Civil War featuring Spider-Man, Spider-Man. It seems like the internet collectively lost their minds, but honestly, I am not thrilled. I, like, it's cool that he's there, but you know, Amazing Spider-Man 2 came out in 2014, less than two years ago. So it's not like Spider-Man has been gone for a long time. I don't understand the extreme reaction to seeing a snippet of Spider-Man. I mean, it's cool that he's in there with Iron Man and Captain America and everyone else, but it's still just the same character that we've seen on screen a number of times recently. I'm sure it'll be good. I just, I don't care. Is that okay? Is it okay that I don't care? I'm sorry. 
So if you follow me on social media or you've watched any of my previous Five on Fries, you likely know that I'm a huge Hearthstone fan. I've been really addicted to this game for a long time now, and I intend to keep playing this game. Uh, lately, uh, my wife Zara has been giving me a bit of a hard time. You play this game all the time! And rightfully so, I do play the game quite a bit. But I want to keep playing it, and I don't want to upset her, so I figure if I make it part of my career, if I, I make it part of my work that I play this game by streaming me playing the game, then she can't give me too hard a time, which is why I'm gonna start streaming some gameplay and sharing it with you out there. Uh, so I need to know from you, do you want me to put my stream out on YouTube, or do you want me to stream on Twitch.tv? My thinking with YouTube is that this is where I put all my content, and this is where subscribers kind of matter, uh, but with Twitch.tv, new people are there specifically to watch video games. It's got a, a wider audience in terms of people finding new people who play games and let other people watch them. What a weird thing. Uh, anyway, so let me know what you think. Leave a comment in the, you know, area down below and subscribe to my channel. Uh, please, or don't, really. It, you know, it's your choice. I don't want to make you do anything you don't want to do. Uh, but thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the future. Thank <laughs> you.